So, welcome to Hands On with Jota. Today we are going to take a look into Lerna. This is a very, very specific um, library that's going to help you to work with different kind of packages of NPM and relate them to each other and use different uh, commands that you're going to be playing around in parallel in the different packages or uh, making different instructions for each one of the different packages. Basically, the proposal of this guy is to give us a tool for a tool for managing JavaScript projects with multiple packages, right? That means that you have here your learner project that's going to contain a package JSON and it's going to contain several packages inside. So if you had this kind of situation, then at some point of some point maybe you were thinking about using npm link and then working with this npm link to handle it with the um, with the installation of one package in relation to another package. But when I was trying to do something like that, I remember that I was running into another problem. For example, this uh, link was getting lost after npm install just because um, just just because. Uh, they did not, it did not get conserved, so that's a proposal for, if I'm wrong, for npm7 that's going to come afterwards. But at this case, when you have to run a, not only these links in between different projects, like say in, in between different packages, like say in package 1, package 2, you're also going to be able to run ex uh, dif different execution of commands in parallel from package of package one and package two, so that's that's pretty cool. Let's let's go for an example of this guy. So I have here the um, example um, learn example folder that comes with the package JSON, and this one comes with the learn as a dependency. So I already have this guy installed. So I'm going to say npx learn I need. And this is going to initialize all the things. So that's going to add me learner JSON and packages as a as a folder. So let's go to packages. And now I'm going to say um, let's say package one, maybe package two. We're going to go to the first folder and we're going to say npm init. So we're going to add the brand new package. Ah, there you are. So we're going to say touch index.js. Um, actually, we're going to see this index.js and we're going to add here a very simple execution of a zoom, for example, mole.exports equal sum of a and b and we return a plus b that's it that's everything that this guy is going to do let's let's do the following package json comes with package one i'm going to call it Sample package one, and, and now we're going to go to package two. We init and now we're going to say, let's take a look into the index shares of this guy. I'm going to say. We're going, to, we're going to add here express so we can actually see some hot reload on how it's working uh, with the hot reload of this guy when I make a change. I'm going to import, let's go step by step. So require express const app express app.get. I'm going to say zoom 
one and two. Right? Simple as that. App dot listen for three thousand. There we are. So we have here also the zoom that will come from the require of, let's see, how do we call it? We call it sample. So we have to also work the scope. So we have here sample two, sample package one, package two. Okay, cool. So we have an express application that's going to be calling the package one, right? And the package, which is going to be running the package two, right? And the package one is going to have the operation of zoom, which is this one, makes the appearance zoom of these two guys. And this one is going to be working with this server and it's going to be calling this sum of the one and the two so let's go for this let's try it out first come first let's say here um we need to add basically looking at the documentation of learner here we have a lot of different things that we can use for example these commands that you have here and um, one of them is the add Right, and this is the one that we are going to be using. So we need to say, if you see here the examples, we are going to say mpx learn add express scope. Sample package 2. So this is going to be adding the dependency of express into the package 2. And you see with this scope what we are defining here is um, who are we going to be talking to basically. In this case I'm talking to the package number 2 and I'm going to be adding the dependency of express. Um, not a very good connection today. <laughs> so this really ran the post trap. Let's see what we have right now. So the package number two has this. Good, which contains also express mpx learner, and we are going to add now sample package one. So now we are adding the package number one into the package number two. So we have here the sample, right? So if you take a look into the sample, you see that this one is a symlink. This is going to the package number one. So let's do the following. I already have installed in a global way Nodemon. So we're going to add here into the package number two and start. And it's going to run Nodemon. So, I'm going to say mpxlearn now. Package, package 2, p 
you may start. So this is saying, let's execute in the package number two, the start. So here, I make a mistake. Let's say that now we're going to return the object, right? And there you are, result equal to three. So you see I'm passing one and two and gives you three, four. Good, so now we're going to make a little change and we're going to say that We're going to subtract also, right? So now you can say subtract, and there you have the number two. So you see, I basically I. <laughs> This is, this is pretty neat. This is a very, very fast shape of making the work because you see the things are basically done with a sim link. And then there is no operation behind the scene that's going to be working with this uh, building of anything. It's just going to be doing the, the load of my node demon and it's going to be listening to this. It's going to be pointing to reference into the other package. So that's super, super neat. I really like this package. Um, yeah, so this in regards to this guy, basically you can up, make, make operation also in regards to parallel, for example, if you have test and you want to run test in parallel for the different packages, you can run it all the way. So this is in the scope of libraries. So we have a library that contains different libraries and these libraries you want to, you want to work with them, um, make them, um, in a molar way with different npm packages. For example, a very, very simple example, I, I will imagine to use this guy, will for example, for a library like moment.js, where you have a moment.js is going to be working with all of the different dates and calendars and so on and the formats. But let's suppose that suddenly you go to another kind of calendar out there, I don't know, Chinese calendar or whatever. So then you might use it for certain cases and you can add it as a mole out of the way to, to this guy. So uh, so the, this is going to help you to integrate and to work in parallel with this package of um, um, this package of another kind of uh, calendars, right? So this is this is Lerna. It's, it's a very cool tool. It works, works very, very, very well. And I really want to take a look into it. It is, it is very, very nice to play with it. So uh, you can also add, for example, there are a lot of different commands that you can use from here, like saying, for example, this already ran for me. When I ran the add, it was already adding the bootstrap. So that's the reason I did not need to run it again. But basically the bootstrap is making the link of the different things and also making some uh, operation, like uh, in the installation of different packages of each one of these. Um, it's making the link and install basically, right? And you can use it in a hoist. So this is also a very, very nice feature from my point of view, that you can hoist things in the root level. So as you can see, when you take a look into my, into my, into my folder right now, we are going to say the following. We are going to see that here is the node modules that contains a lot of different things here, but you also have node modules into the package number two. <coughs> so this is this this is a pretty cool thing, but you can also use hoist to handle all of the different packages in in the in the root level which for certain cases is going to be pretty cool because you are going to be able to flatten a lot of the size of whatever you're going to be taking out of these packages. So if you take out of these packages a very single a single solution out of all of this, 
then that's going to be reducing just this um, just these null modes from here instead of duplicating these things in each package. So yeah, so I think it is a beautiful package. The only thing I will criticize from these guys is that I don't like that much the mythological figure here. I, I think it is too complex from my point of view. And I think that the solution that they bring is pretty pretty neat, pretty 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 cool and simple. Um, something I'll, I'll is also to take your attention take your attention if you're going to go for this kind of solution is that these guys are working with a publish, right? So when you want to share these kind of things, as you see right now, I'm working with a sim link. So if you want to if you want to share something, then you're going to be using the the way that you expose yourself right like saying with a publish for example so you can publish yourself as you see here with something called semantic release a semantic release or independent basically the semantic releases is going to be working with the um, the different version numbers that are going to come from each one the different changes on your small packages so if you make a a breaking change in one of the packages is going to trigger the the new version out of out of it all the way. And independent is going to run it all the time. Basically, that's that's my understanding from each from for, for this one. So basically, two different options of pushing the information that you need, and this is going to be pushing into as far as I know, you can push it in two different sources. Maybe I'm mistaken. One is as as far as I see also from semantic releases. Uh, you can you can expose it into a GitHub repo. You can expose it into npm registry, meaning that <coughs> afterwards you're going to be pulling from uh, from these registries, any of these two places, with a brand new version that's going to be resolved from this learner and all the changes that come from these modes. So. Yeah, so that's it for today. I hope that you enjoyed the video of today. And, and if you did so, just give it a like to the video and, and subscribe to the channel. Hi, Ugon. And till next time. Ciao, ciao.